All right, so you're going to get to see some uh, movement uh, here. All terrain rules are in effect, so you're going to get to see some movement as this unit comes down from 1 to level 0. We'll be consulting a movement chart, which you can see here. I'll have to hold it sideways due to the way the camera is set up. Uh, but you can see right here where it goes down one level. So down one level is a plus one movement point and cavalry will be taking a cohesion hit. Uh, there is a note of a small, let me just double check that. Down one level, I'm sorry, there are no cohesion hits to cavalry going down a level. Uh, and leaders never incur cohesion hits, by the way. All right, so let's move this unit out. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, he's not gonna be able to make it. Seven, eight. Um, yeah, so he didn't really go, he was, wasn't able to get as far as I thought he would get. Uh, we'll keep him there anyway to give the Spartan something to think about. A unit moves, it's flipped over to the move side, it has the white band across it. Okay, let's go to the next unit. That is order one. He's got six left. Uh, this is the elite command phase again. In this game, an elite commander takes a pre-phase before the actual turn starts. So let's take the bat cavalry here. He's already on uh, his, uh, level one terrain. So let's see what we got here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I really didn't want to go head on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. And that looks like he's going to have to either way. One, two, three, four, five. The range on a javelin is one hex, so we're not going to be able to throw anything. That cavalry unit will stop there. Uh, next, we will do... Now, when you actually have to move these units, it's kind of a pain in the ass because they have to stay together. We have five orders left. Well, let's issue... All right, let's see here. The rule is, the rule is, let's take a look real quick here. Peltas and cavalry can be giving orders by the overall commanders regardless of the range. So let's shift over here to the Theban right flank and see if we can get something done with these guys. There's one cavalry unit. Yeah, they're too far away for dispersal tactics. They all have javelins. Uh, let's see what we can do here. One, two, three. The river's ignored in this scenario. Uh, let's see. Three, four, five, six. Their troop quality's better. All right, how are we gonna figure this out here? And they can't use orderly withdrawal because the movements are the same, so. Oh, man. Let's keep them right there. That's another order. Uh, he's down to four. So the question here is gonna be who wants to meet in the middle first? and get attacked. That's gonna be the big issue. Let me just put the camera up here a little bit so we can see what's going on. Just the lighting. Uh, all right, so then let's do, at some point I'm just gonna go ahead and have to, let's do our line command. Uh, let's move the lines up. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. Let's issue a line command and that lets us move everyone. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, three, two, three. That leaves us with three orders. No shot combat yet. What would the Spartan player do looking at this? It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Um, I left a little bit of a stagger on the line. We will do, let's see, these units on the left. Sorry, we need to flip one guy over. I forgot to flip him over. He's moved. Um, another command here. Let's move these guys up. One, two, three. One, two, three. They get flipped because they moved. Two orders left. <laughs> uh, he will order himself to move up. And let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Leaders have a movement of nine, by the way, in this game, even though it's not marked on the counters. One order left. Oh, he moved the Mercs. He's actually out of orders now. Okay, so, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, he is short, too. We have to move some units back on the left because I over-calculated there. I was counting this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the Greek Mercs will stay back on this side. I forgot I couldn't move them because... He's actually out of orders. Okay, so that is the elite commander phase. Uh, you can't do any order to draw. Normally, if a unit moves within two hexes of another unit, such as right here, you can try to order to withdraw, but you cannot do it if the defending unit... The defending unit must have a higher movement allowance than the moving unit. Uh, so if he had like a nine, he could actually pull back. Uh, let's see here. Anything else I need to cover? He's marked as... He's done. He's not finished. Um, I believe that's what the rule says. Let me just double check for the elite commander phase. He's inactive, but not finished, which means he could possibly go again. Uh, I can't throw any weapons. All I have is javelins. So I believe we go to a standard normal turn, which means that we would go by initiative. So the lower initiative person now gets to go in the game. And of course here it's going to be initiative five. Agasilaus, the Spartan commander, only has an initiative of five. So he actually gets to go, he gets five orders uh, and this is going to be interesting. I think we're going to have a lot of combat here. So he has five orders. Um, now the Spartans have slightly better troop quality. But not on that flank. The question is, where do you want to move them out? All right, let's start over here. Let's see if we can take advantage of this. Order number one, which will bring him down to four. One. 
two. Oh, then we get to turn. Okay, so one, two. Uh, when a unit, you do get a free facing change when a unit moves next to you. I'll just read that for you um, so you know what we're doing here. Any single size hex unit may change facing one vertex per order space when an enemy unit moves adjacent to it. This includes advance after combat. It may not do so if it's already in the ZOC of another enemy unit. All right. So he gets to turn for free. and throw his javelins, which would be a reaction fire because the Athens 2 unit moved right next to him. So where you want to look now, if you're following along, is missile combat. Uh, we're looking at rule 8.2, which is on page 23. Missile units may fire reaction to enemy movements into and out of their ZOCs. Let's just take a look here. The question is, can you reaction fire with javelins? That's what I need to check. I'll check the rules on that one. I'll be right back. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I did this rule right. Uh, once this unit moves here and he turns, he creates a ZOC. He's got to stop, so that will actually teach me not to try to sneak around someone. Um, so now, actually, they're going to end up possibly getting flanked at some point. Uh, so at any rate, the Athens Cavalry moves here. Now he's got to stop. He's facing this way. Reaction fire from the Theban Javelin. That'll be five. And their count is moving, so let's take a look at our modifiers here. The fire moved, will moved, does not apply to foot javelin or changing facing without movement. Okay, so he moved and so he's marked his move. I also had forgotten to mark these as moved, all the Theban units, so I did flip them over during some off camera time there. All right, so this unit moved, uh, reaction fire, he needs four or less to hit. Seven, he missed. Uh, now you want to double check and see if that means he's low on ammo. I forgot what javelins need here. Let's see. An unadjusted die roll of seven to nine mean results in missile low for javelins and archers. So, yep. Gonna run out of ammo for that guy. So the Theb Theban three light cavalry fires, throws javelins and misses. And what you want to do then is he's missile low, which means he has one more shot left. So you want to get a missile low marker, and we'll be putting that right on top of him. Since there's so few units, I'm going to kind of put it off to the side so you can still see what's going on there. We're going to swing this camera back like that. So that move did not work out well. I am pretty sure I did that right because once you turn, he creates his zone of uh, control, and that unit has to stop. So I really didn't approach that properly. Uh, so that was the first order. Uh, he's got four left. His next order will be, oh boy, uh, now the hoplites are land, line command eligible, so do I want to move them up? That's the question. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a tough call. Hmm. We could send his men straight in by issuing a line command. I could slam right into these guys. So let's... 
got four orders left. All right, order number three is going to go over here. And we're going to do, obviously he knows he's trying to be flanked. How can we make the best out of this? We have to stop there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let's try this. One, two, this is gonna look crazy. Oh, he's going up. I just noticed that. He's going up in elevation here. Well, this is a darn tough scenario to figure out how to get the best wax on people. Uh, we'll put him here. And we'll roll with the punches and see what happens. Athens one moves up. Uh, they will each throw javelins. This will be simultaneous. They each move, so it'll be four or less for each person. And let's do the Thebes two, a one. And that is a cohesion hit. So their javelins actually hit. Uh, so that's one at least right here on him. The Athens one, light cavalry, throws their javelins. A zero. So that is a hit. So the javelins fly and both sides take damage. So that was pretty successful. Uh, now, so that was his second order. He's got three left. Okay, so after the javelin fire is done, uh, the Spartan unit will choose to shock. He's light, considered a light unit. So there's not going to be any pre-shock TQ check, but you do put a shock no TQ check marker on top of him to signify that I wish to do combat. And you have to, you have to signify that as soon as you move next to him. I didn't have to attack him, but I do want to engage in combat, so let's move these hit markers there. So he's done. That's order number two. So our two orders have been over on the left flank. And this one, he's got three orders left. All right. Let's see what we want to do here. Uh, oh, man, these decisions. I guess Silias will issue a line command. I really don't want to get in with that unit. That is just not going to be nice. Uh, he'll issue a line command, and let's move units via the line command. Okay. One, two, one, two, all these movements are the same so far, movement allowance is one, two, now what I really want to do is get this Spartan unit that's really good in there, so let's see here, one, I don't want him to get. I accidentally move some units here. I actually don't want him to get stuck. This could be kind of ugly. Definitely don't want him to go into combat. And this will end up breaking up the line a little bit, but I feel this must be done. And we'll pull this unit up one. And a wheel movement here. Hmm, 
All right, that's a line command. So these units are considered heavy over here, as you can see. So they, they will all get must shock TQ markers. So we gotta dig into our bag and then we will uh, mark those up.